Welcome to Chapter 2. In this chapter, we'll continue to become familiar with Blender's interface and the anatomy of meshes as we delve deeper into object manipulation. All right, let's start by getting our feet wet with mesh anatomy. So far, we've been working in object mode. However, we have another mode available to us that will let us manipulate meshes at a sub-object or element level. This is called edit mode and we can access it as part of our modes pull down here. We can also access it with our preferred method of using hotkeys by simply hitting the tab key. Welcome to one of the hotkeys you will use the most in your journey with Blender. Let's tab back and forth a few times and note what happens in our viewport toolbar. We can see the switch from object to edit mode happening but there are some other changes that are happening there as well. To understand them, let's look at what the anatomy of a mesh is. So we can all start in the same place. Let's make sure we're in object mode and that our default cube is selected. If we tab into edit mode, we can see our cube lights up in orange. This is because all of its elements are currently selected and that means the entire mesh is selected. Let's hit A to deselect our cube. And now let's right click on the front corner up here at the top. The little point that's selected is called a vertice, or a vert for short. Our mesh is made up of vertices, which are connected by edges to form phases. So if we hold down shift and select another corner vertice here, we can see that Blender highlights the edge between them as well. If we select the two other verts, Blender highlights the entire face for us. And if we move any of those elements around, in this case the face, we can begin to manipulate our mesh on a deeper level. Let's hit A to deselect everything. Now, so far we've been selecting using only vertices. However, when we switch to edit mode, Blender gave us access to two important tools. The first is this selection tool, allowing us to choose whether we want to select by verts, edges, or faces. It's very handy. And as with most things in Blender, we can change this on the fly with hotkeys. Remember tab to switch between modes? Well, when we're in edit mode, we can hit control tab and pull up an option window to select which element we want to work with. The second, right next to it, is the Limit Selection to Visible tool. By example, if we box select, and if you remember, that's the hotkey B, our mesh in this tool's default setting, it appears we've selected everything. But if we now move the mesh, we see that that's not true we were only able to select the verts we could see. Let's get out of that with Control Z. Now, if we switch this tool over, we can box select the entire mesh, visible or not. And note, when we do that, we get a transparency that allows us to see the hidden parts of the geometry. Being able to toggle between these two becomes essential to a fast workflow when our scenes get more complex. All right, let's review. We've discovered the anatomy of a mesh containing vertices, edges, and faces. We've covered how to get to them by entering edit mode. We looked at how to select which element we want on the fly and from our toolbar. We've also looked at our limit selection to visible tool. Excellent, let's quiz. What are the three elements that make up the anatomy of a mesh? Where is our limit selection to visible tool? And how does it help us? Which hotkey allows us to toggle between object and edit mode? Which similar hotkey allows us to choose the element we want to work with? I hope you were able to answer all of those. If not, you should go back and review this short video. 
If you did get them, then I'll see you in the next video.